Okay, now we've talked about these principles of design so far. Balance, including symmetrical, asymmetrical, and radial balance. We talked about focal point and emphasis, scale and proportion, including proper proportion and comparative proportion. And now we're going to talk about the principle of design, a repetition and rhythm. This is also kind of a hard one for people to grasp. So repetition and rhythm are intertwined. You don't talk about them separately. You talk about them together. So repetition is when a basic formal element is seen repeating throughout an entire artwork. So like there we see that there is a repetition of triangular shapes and triangular, even negative space in this image. So we say that triangular shapes repeat throughout this entire artwork. Then when we talk about the rhythm of those triangular shapes, then we name all the places that the triangular shapes are found in the image. And because those triangular shapes repeat throughout the entire image, what they do in effect is they create a visual rhythm or a pathway for eyes to follow throughout the entire image. So we're gonna start all over, we're gonna say that triangular shapes repeat throughout this entire image. The repeating triangular shapes create a rhythm that my eyes follow. These triangular shapes can be found on the aprons of the patrons in the barber shop, on the cuffs of some of the barbers. The triangular shapes can be found in the negative space between people's this guy's arm and his green vest. The triangular shapes are seen in the different shoes of all the men. The triangular shapes are found in the base of this barber chair on the far right. The triangular shapes are found in negative space as like, for example, this guy wearing this green and black barber apron. There's a red negative space between the apron and his legs that creates a triangle. There's also triangular shapes found in the clothing that's hanging on this rack in the background. So when you name the, when you talk about the rhythm, you name as many places as you can where that repeating basic formal element, which in this case is triangular shapes, are found. Now, when we talk about repetition and rhythm, pattern is not the same as repetition and rhythm. Because for example, we look at this one guy's blue and white um, half of his um, apron that he has on. That, though there's a repeating pattern, but it doesn't qualify for repetition and rhythm because it's only found in one part of the picture. We're, we're looking for things that are found throughout the picture and that guide our eye throughout the picture. Now something else that repeats in this picture are tints and tones and shades of the color blue. The repetition of that of those tints, tones, and colors of, of the, and pardon me, tints, tones, and shades of the color blue create a rhythm that leads our eye throughout the entire picture. The, the rhythm, we're going to describe the rhythm now. The rhythm start, we're going to start with this, the blue 
tones and shades on this guy's the um the guy in the black and green barber apron his blue jeans have have those tones and shades of blue the pants of the man to his left have the shades and tones of blue that same man's apron has tints of blue on his apron the man that is shaving his head has a light blue razor and um, one part of his his shirt on the left i'm sorry on the right those are also tints of blue we move further to the right the man shaving the man in the red apron the man that's shaving him has a blue shaving cup a blue razor and half of his vest is blue and to his immediate right the other guy that's shaving the guy in the black and green he's wearing a shirt that's got blue polka dots and blue like blue cuffs and blue suspenders on it and so you follow that blue from this man with the polka dots to this man in the black and the green barber outfit to this man in the light blue um it's not a barber outfit it's called an apron the light blue and striped barber apron and who also has blue blue jeans to the barber who's got the blue razor to the barber on the right of him that's got a blue shaving cup and a razor and a jacket to the barber to the right of him that's got a blue razor and a blue and white pattern shirt that all those blues they make your eyes move around the picture we can find other things there are analogous colors there are reds and kind of salmon colors and oranges and yellow oranges that move our eye throughout the picture um, there are dark values the black on this apron the black on the guy's shoes on the far right the dark brown skin the black pants of the man in the middle the dark brown skin of the man shaving and the man being shaved on the right the dark black pants of the barber on the that's not on the right they're on the left i'm sorry i'm mixing everything up the barber on the left has dark shoes as do most of the other men have dark shoes and there's even a dark value of the jacket and hats and cigars that are hanging on the coat rack so that repeating dark value creates a rhythm that leads our eye throughout the entire picture but you have to name all the places where the dark value is found in order for this to be a complete repetition and rhythm description so we already went through all of that now we're going to look at this piece by remedius varro and so like what what basic elements repeat if you if, if i was in class with you i'd make you tell me but i'm not in class with you so i'm going to say that rectangular and square shapes repeat the rectangular and gray repeating gray not gray the rectangular shapes that repeat throughout the entire image creates a rhythm to describe the rhythm i'm going to start on the far left there are rectangles rectangular shapes in the buildings on the far left. There are rectangular shapes in the steps on the far left. They're like, if we move toward the middle, this open room has a green toned and green tinted tile floor that has rectangular shapes. The, the, the ceiling has rectangular shapes in the beams and the slats slats we look at the front of the building on the roof underneath the roof there's rectangular shapes we move further 
to the right, we can see the rectangular shapes of the buildings of the window and we move them further right and there are the rectangular shapes of the, the buildings and also the beams of the roof. So now we're gonna pick something else that repeats and that creates a rhythm. I see throughout this entire piece, let's look. There's green shades, there's green tones, there's green tints, there's green shades and tints, there's green shadows. Okay, so let's say the color green, including tints, tones, and shades, repeats throughout the entire picture, created a rhythm that my eyes can follow. This green tints, tones, and shades can be found in the sky, on the ground, on the far right, there's a little bit of green, gray tone to it, on the structure of the building in the center, in including the exterior and interior walls, on the floor, the pattern floor of the building that's in the center, in the shadow, that's cast on the ground on the far right and as well as in the floor on the far right. There's some like light, light green tones. There's also shadows in the building that's on the far right that are also those green tones and all the tones and tints and, and shades and all those tints and tones and shades that repeat throughout this image create a rhythm. We can also, we could also talk about the repetition and rhythm of directional lines. I'm not gonna name them all, but if you are gonna describe repetition and rhythm, first you say directional lines repeat, creating a rhythm that leads your eye throughout the picture, and then you start naming all the places where you see directional lines. And you know, if it helps to go from left to right, go from left to right. Um, so I'm beating a dead horse with this so that you don't have to and that you understand it. Now we're going to look at this painting by Paul Gauguin. And I'm going to, I'm going to start out by like, let's, let's look at, let's look at these colors. Purple, what is purple made of? A blue and red, 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 orange, got red in it. Gold's got some red and some purple in it. Here's some Orange, orange is made out of what? Red and yellow. Here's some orange, here's some red, here's some purple, here's some red, here's some purple, here's some orange. Now, all those colors I just named, what are they? They're analogous colors. So analogous colors repeat in this image, creating a rhythm that our eyes can follow. And now we'll name all the places where we see those analogous colors, and we'll name the colors. The bananas on the far left are red and red orange. The shadow that the bananas are casting on the far left is purple. The seat that the kids are seat seated against is kind of a shade of red, maroon, and, uh, um, and purple. The pattern back behind the kids has got orange semicircles in it. If we move going toward the right, the girl in the center has red lips and she's kind of got a, like a purplish brown shirt. The bowl in front of her has got reds and purple shades in it. We move below the bowl, we see a, an orange, the oranges that have red tints in them. If we move further to the right, we see this, um, this board on the side of the opening of the door is reddish. When we move down, the gourd has got reddish tones, I'm sorry, reddish shades in it. We move further down, that cut open, I don't know what it is, it's like a pers uh, like a palm, what's it called? Um, I forgot what this fruit's called, it's got a lot of seeds in it. I can't think right now because of the coronavirus, this is orange. And then we move further down, that little bit of table we see is like 
a reddish violet kind of color. So that, those analogous colors repeat, create a rhythm that our eyes can follow, and then you name all of them. Then we could also say that curved, curved shapes repeat to create a rhythm, and then you name everywhere you see a curve. We can also say that, um, we can't say lines of sight repeat, why? Because lines of sight are only seen up here. It has to repeat, like there would have to be people over here for it to repeat enough to make our eyes follow it. There's other, there's other kind of lines that repeat. There's a lot of direction lines that repeat to create a rhythm and then you name them all. And let's see if you can find anything else that repeats. Okay, so we're gonna stop right there on today's repetition and rhythm lecture. And then the next one, will be on unity and variety. Thank you for listening to me and allowing me to kind of make mistakes while I was recording. I can't help it, I'm human. <laughs>